Hi, uh, my name's Steve Price, and um, this is the first of a number of videos that I want to do, a number of short videos that I want to do to um, talk through the story of the loss of my daughter, Amelie, uh, and also the birth of my son, Grayson. So um, I lost my daughter uh, suddenly and overnight. She passed away in her sleep um, at the age of 19 months old on June 10th, 2018. Um, it's, today's date is the 6th of May, 2019, so it's uh, about 11 months ago. Um, and uh, I wanted to record some videos talking through um, what happened. Um, uh, the, the reason I wanna do this is, one, it's to sort of help others. Um, I've, uh, I've found that through talking about it and people hearing about our story and, and how um, Amelie's mum and I have approached things that it's helped people so I can give some examples of that in later videos uh, also there are a number of our friends and family who know what's happened and maybe even you know attended Amelie's funeral or have spoken to us but actually don't know the full story um, and or sequence of events and I suppose this, this also gives them an opportunity to, to, to know that information in, in, in detail. Um, I also I like the idea of, of having uh, a, rec a record of what happened, um, to, to the best of my knowledge, um, before I forget too much. I think as, as time has gone by, there's definitely certain elements that I forgot. And through talking to, to Bex, like we've... You know, we figured things out between each other, or or, or set each other straight, or um, and I'd, and I'd, I'd like the idea of, of of having this series of videos to, to look back on and and yeah, view and for my son to look at them and etc. So we've always got a record of like I don't know the fresher memories of, of actually what what happened and what we're going through, um, and also I think there's also an element of it of self help. Um, and, and start or starting to, to help myself um, through this and, and through the, the you know the, the, the grieving process and what's happened and like as a parent or a father like what what, what do I do moving forward um, and how do I deal with it and like I can, I can tell you what I've done so far I don't really know what happens moving forward and I think this could introduce me to people or things like organizations that might be able to help with the answer of that and, and help structure things so that, that's i suppose those are the sort of the main reasons why i wanted to do this um so yeah so my, my uh, the, the, where should i start so my my daughter um yes yeah, she was 19 and a half months old um i want to go through i want to talk through sort of what happened leading up to her, her death like the you know the few days before um also um how i found her and, and and my reaction and you know what happened it was quite a traumatic experience i want to sort of talk through that um what was going through my mind that entire day you know so like once we found her what then what happened and and sort of how my you know what, what i can remember of exactly what I was thinking about and, and what how I was approaching things. Um, and then there was also like all the various processes that followed that most of them we had no idea of. Um, we just sort of taken them as they came, but there were things like, so things included with like doctors, nurses, um, maternity, because Bex was pregnant, um, the ambulance staff, police, detectives, coroner, um, the post-mortem and the funeral arrangements um being off work and then returning to work and sort of how that worked out or how that is going um uh we're now approaching the first anniversary of amelie's death so sort of to talk i wanted to talk through what we're planning for that um and sort of yeah to let people know what what our what our approach is to it um and obviously how we're feeling as we go through it uh also to i suppose on that sort of the different coping mechanisms that we 
as a couple, as Bex and I, we, we sort of forged or decided and 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 applied and and still apply to this day as to like how we how we approach things and 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 how we are able to try and deal with it. All like these things are extremely personal to people, so um, it's the reason for telling the story isn't to I'm, I'm not I'm not treating this as an advice thing I'm not, I don't want to tell anyone that if they've gone through something similar that this is what they do I, I, I don't think it's possible to advise anyone but I could certainly tell people what I've done and it's not necessarily to um, the, the motives for it aren't just for people dealing with grief it's also life in general and, and how there are people people in this story have adapted and changed things because of the loss that we've suffered um and then i suppose there's one thing i haven't sort of written down that, that, that i think we should talk through about is sort of there has been sort of different fundraising efforts as well and i think those are those also are coping mechanisms for individuals as well so i think that's worth talking about um i also want to go through like my own my own mental health and well-being and sort of what I suppose tied in with that coping mechanisms but sort of like what I've got pl planned and how I think about things and how I want to the idea of how I want to move forward and, and what I want to do I think that's going to be quite important um, also want to talk about the support the unbelievable amount of support that we've had from people in a professional capacity like the individuals I've mentioned but also people who know us in a personal capacity so friends and family work colleagues um the you know an uh, unbelievable amount of support we've had from people and just sort of sh explain how that was how that's manifested and then also um i want to talk about how we actually have in turn supported certain people as well and friends and family and sort of like it's not support hasn't necessarily been a one-way thing it, quite often it's been a two-way thing where we've held all the information that people need and and there were a no number of instances of people turning up at our house you know in the immediate aftermath of losing Emily um, you know crying their eyes out when they opened the door when we opened the door to them and a couple of hours later they're sort of smiling at least when they le when they left you know um, and so so there was there was it was definitely a mutual thing at times um, and I think that's quite an interesting thing to discuss um, uh, and then th there's also some of the stories I sort of alluded to it earlier but some of the stories that w where this has helped people and examples of it and, and and that's the stuff that actually resulted in me deciding to do these recordings so I sort of had it in my mind for a long time I wasn't sure exactly if it was the right thing to do discussed it with Bex and and, and yeah so that that's sort of how we're going to move on so this video really is to introduce it to introduce what what I'm gonna do um, I'll try and keep the videos sort of eight to ten minutes long each um, I, I will warn people if I'm gonna go into sort of graphic detail I think there's one in particular the discovery of when I found Emily and and, and what she looked like I think that's gonna that can be quite off-putting for some people but I, 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 I do want to share it and I do want to talk about it um, and uh, yeah, but I, I, I want to just sort of, I suppose, also react to what's coming back. So if anyone has got any questions uh, as these videos go on, then um, I want to I want to help. I want to make sure that the content is aligning to what people are thinking because it's very hard, I think, from this side of the camera to know how it's being received uh, and, and, and what thought process people are going through. So yeah, that's it. So this is the first video. Um, I'll. I'll release more I, I don't really know the period of time between each one but I'll try and make them sort of regular weekly if I can um, and yeah thanks very much